Attention passengers, this is your conductor speaking. The train will be taking a detour. A representative will be coming by with the details. Hi there, I'm Curtis and I'll be guiding us through today's journey by train. Although I am reporting to you pre-recorded from Canada, today's trip is going to start by transferring over to the High Speed Rail 2 project in England and then make a little detour 11,000 kilometers away to the SGR project in Tanzania, where my colleague Innocent will take over as conductor and steer this train back home. So metaphorically, buckle up, grab some snacks if you have them, and get ready for the ride. High Speed 2, outlined in red, is a planned high-speed railway system in the United Kingdom connected to the UK's second major high-speed rail line, High Speed 1, outlined in blue. With High Speed 2's first phase of construction underway, the Y-shaped network will link the bustling cities of London, Birmingham, Manchester, and Leeds. Although London is known for its double-decker buses, historically, the UK has underinvested in developing, innovating, and improving upon its transit system. High Speed 2 has a planned completion date of around 2032 to 2033, which to some is important to help the UK government meet its goal of net zero carbon emissions by 2050, as the transport sector is one of the most difficult to decarbonize. Though, the development of High Speed 2 has been highly contested. Supporters of High Speed Rail argue it's necessary to meet the UK's rapidly growing demand for travel, and that the new rail development will provide a greener, safer, and more efficient form of transport. Phase 2A, which received royal assent, is projected to support 5,000 new jobs in the area between West Midlands and Crewe once development is finished. However, opponents of the entirety of the HS2 project argue that it's unnecessary and can't be justified to be north of £80 billion. Its critics argue that there are much more pressing infrastructure priorities that are smaller scale, with less negative impacts on the environment. HS2 is said to adversely impact over 130 protected wildlife sites, a negative impact difficult to mitigate in its planned construction and development process. The National Infrastructure Commission's Rail Needs Assessment stated it would be potentially cheaper and faster to deliver smaller scale improvements to regional journeys through a combination of new lines and upgrades, rather than continue on with Phase 2B of High Speed 2. With COVID-19 and post-Fordism shifting the nature of work and travel, some are even worried if the previous forecast for passenger numbers will stand. In recent years, rail traffic growth in the United Kingdom has dipped, and there is no guarantee the demand will be there once the project is finished. Though, as Phase 2A has been given the green light to go ahead, it seems the UK's new mega project, High Speed 2, will continue to be a defining controversy for the United Kingdom's transportation infrastructure. Innocent, are you there? Hi everyone, my name is Innocent Nyambasu. I'm from Aldi University in Dar es Salaam and I'm actually pursuing the Bachelor of Science in Urban and Regional Planning, Year 4. And I'm going to introduce the SGR project construction. Perfect. Take it away, Anderson. Yeah, the SGR is an English abbreviation word that means the standard gauge railway. This is the modern railway of diameter of 1.435 meters wide. Yeah, unlike the conventional railway, this railway can carry heavy loads that will be able to pass the electric power trains and travel at high speed of 160 kilometers per hour. The government of Tanzania through the railway corporation is the first country in East Africa that has decided to build this modern railway station to boost high economy and spread the transport sector network that will cover a distance of at least 2,561 kilometers, connecting the regions of Dar es Salaam, Morogoro, Dodoma, Mwanza, Kigoma, and Katavi, and port countries that are Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. After its completion, the project is expected to boost the Tanzanians' economic growth 
also by providing employment opportunities and linking the SGR with other transport networks such as the road, the meter gauge railway and the bus rapid transport, also the urban roads. Also it will provide the transportation linkage from Dar es Salaam to other countries which will increase the growth of towns and cities of these small towns by integrating them with the bigger towns. Also the sustainability of the project will ensure a sustainable city by reducing the road use and ensuring these small towns grow into integration with other areas and reduce frequent costs of road maintenance. Also the project is environmental friendly whereby the old train used diesel but this new one is going to use a crystal which will not emit smokes which will reduce the air pollution. Because the Dar es Salaam Harbour Port is not far from the Dar es Salaam station of SGL, it will be easy to transport cargoes that are coming from the port to other areas. Attention passengers. Well folks, that's all for today's train detour. We hope you enjoyed today's video and that we didn't derail you from thinking critically about transportation infrastructure. Until next time, safe travels.